One of the undiscovered places in the world has released with a world update number 11, Canada. We've got everything you need to know about the update, including what's next for Microsoft Flight Simulator. We will cover all the big announcements and release news this week, so let's jump into the video. Before we jump into this week's announcements, in these videos we try to bring you all the flight sim news and content in one place. So if that sounds right up your taxiway, please click that subscribe button as 72% of people that watch the Oz Flight Sim channel are not subscribed. Hit that little red button, it would really help us out and it's much appreciated. Pre-flighting this week's previews and announcements, kicking off with a Turtle Beach as they announced two new flight simulator products after releasing the Velocity One flight controls for PC and Xbox last year. Now the team is expanding their hardware to a set of rudder pedals and a stand. The rudder pedals will feature dual pedal configuration to use with a light and heavy aircraft, hall effect sensors on all axis including toe brakes for a fluid movement, and from the looks of the trailer, the rudder pedals seem to be very customizable to adjust to your comfort. Style. The next announcement from the team was the Velocity One stand. This is a pre built light flight simulator stand that caters for its flight simulator hardware products, and from the looks of it, it's a versatile product so it should be compatible with other third party hardware products. The rudder pedals are now on pre order and will release on the 31st. And while the stand is available on pre order, also there is an only an estimated launch date being sometime in December. In some more announcement news this week, a Bluebird Simulations this week released some new in-development screenshots of its Boeing 757 aircraft that's in development. The 757 is not due to release until the first part of the next year and from the looks of the works it's progressing nicely. The external teasers we can see here I have a level of detail that the team is trying to achieve that looks pretty high. The internal shots from the looks of the 757 is completing a auto land and the team has mentioned that the 757 will come with two flight options, one being for more experienced pilots and the other one is for more basic flyers. No other information from the team at this stage and of course we're going to keep you posted of any more new developments from Bluebird Simulations. Seafront Simulations this week announced they have a pending product which is Vessels the Hawaiian Island for release. The team have released the Virgin and also the UK areas and now it's Hawaii's turn. This add-on will enhance the area with thousands of boats, ships, tankers and local sail and leisure boats in many different variants. This package will contain a bunch of very detailed Navy ships of the area such as submarines such as the USS Bofin, the USS Missouri and also the Ali Burke class of destroyers which are bunch of other different class ships to mention a few. The release will include landable ships for the first time, will feature the ability to land on maritime ships in particular and the release date should be very very soon for the Hawaiian Island package and from the team it may even be out before this video is live. Taxiing out for this week's release news and the first one goes to the team at Tenery Studios this week releasing the Vans RV8. There's been many developers have been waiting to release their products after Sim Update 10 and Tenery has been the first one to kick off this week. The RV8 has been in development for some time now and originally when it was announced the team mentioned there will be two versions of the RV8 which will be a tricycle gear and a tail dragger. However on the, the release we've only seen the tail dragger this time around. Features included in the package is an accurate flight model developed alongside real RV8 pilots, fully IFR capability cockpit compatible with the Sobo R430 and the GTN 650 and the MPS50. Working circuit breakers have been included in the cockpit. There's a tablet, simulated ice in a high, resolu high resolution, I should say, 4K PBR textures, VR compatible. You can pick up your copy of Tannery Studios RV8 directly from the Aerosoft store. I'll leave a link in the description below. In the next release for the week, it goes to the team over at Paxima this week, releasing one of the busiest airports in the world, and hopefully I can say it correctly, which is Incheon International Airport. Incheon Airport is one of the main airports serving South Korea's main capital of Seoul, and it is a major hub for Northeast Asia with its four active runways. The package includes accurate terminal, concourse hangars, towers, and freight buildings, accurate a local area of the city with a major points of interest included, custom animated jetways, high-res ortho, accurate places of auto, Gen, a realistic coastline using correct blending techniques and accurate taxis with signs and de-icing zones. You can pick up your copy of Paxim's Incheon Airport directly from the Paxim website. I'll leave a link in the description below. 
The next release of for the week is another aircraft and it's from the team over Ants Airplanes this week releasing a second aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The team is known for detailed aircraft in other sims such as FSX and P3D and this time they have released their Tiger Moth. The Tiger Moth was well received in the other sims and it's been ported across with an all new flight model, realistic flight dynamics and in-depth simulations. The aircraft comes with complex engine simulations which simmers can switch between easy or hard engine realism modes. Features in the package include high detail model including a fully modeled engine pilot and a co-pilot and includes 10 liveries uh, you can either start the engine as a full manual start or you can select auto engine start procedures engine management systems has been modeled including oil consumption and spark plug failing it has a GPS if you need it and it is available and a tablet FB to customize and change things on the aircraft also you can change the appearance of the aircraft with things such as pitot tube style air intakes and more you can select between a tail skid or a tail wheel variant of the aircraft um, and the feature list is quite long so I won't mention it all down here but you can pick up your copy of Ants Airplanes Tiger Moth from the Just Flight store, I'll leave a link in the description below and there's a couple other places where you can pick it up from as well. And in the next release, which is a last minute inclusion as it released while we're filming it, this video is from the team at Coxburgh this week releasing the C510 Mustang. The Mustang comes with three variants of the aircraft, including the standard, the High Sierra, and the Air Ambulance variants. Many liveries will be included in the package, and the Mustang uses the G1000 default uh, avionics package, so it should be pretty detailed. The Mustang is available directly from uh, the uh, Coxburgh website, and down the line, we should be able to see it available on the Insim Mark place along with a planned release for Xbox but that will come down the line. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can pick up the uh, C510 Mustang from the Cotspur website. Before we jump into this week's sim update news I want to thank SoFly for sponsoring this video. SoFly offer a number of products for Microsoft Flight Simulator catering to a new pilots for the sim and all the way to a very experienced pilots. As a flight sim content creator, my favorite SoFly product is Weather Presets Pro, which comes in really handy when the weather is not behaving itself and you can change the weather to be more dramatic or even to a perfect day. Other products I like to use is a Landing Challenge Pro, Flight Simulator Guide, which is the manual to Microsoft Flight Simulator, the one that should have been, Storms for pilots who want to chase some of the biggest storms in the world's history. I will leave a link in the description below or where you can go and check out SoFly products and I would like to thank Thanks SoFly for sponsoring this video. Lining up on the runway for this week's sim update news and it has been another massive week in the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I kid you not. After last week's sim update 10, we've been waiting for the holy grail of NVIDIA drivers to unlock the powers of the DLSS and DX12 tech of the simulator. The game ready drivers have now been released, although GeForce users should have some sort of performance gains, but users that have their sims bottlenecking at the GPU will see most of the improvement. When it comes to DX12, we'll see some improvements with the new drivers as well, with the memory allocation is now improved and looking ahead, NVIDIA has mentioned we We'll see more improvements with Microsoft Flight Simulator with their upcoming DLSS 3 and their new RTX 40 series of cards. You can download the new drivers directly from the NVIDIA website or using their GeForce Experience app. A couple of days later, we've seen another update to the simulator, which is World Update 11 Canada has been released this week. This is the 11th edition of the series, and it comes with the latest digital elevation model, satellite imaging, and aerial photography you can get your hands on. The update uh, highlights 12 urban regions and enhances the latest photographic uh, data, and also has 87 handcrafted points of interest. Some of the well-known enhanced cities are Vancouver, Victoria, Montreal, Toronto, and and Halifax just to mention a few and like Vancouver and some of the other cities they were already photographic cities uh, before but it's great to see the team chasing newer data to further improve at these cities. The update comes with five handcrafted airports including Balakula, Kasselga, Dawson City, Deer Lake and Ikula. Hopefully I said any of those correctly and you'll find that these airports are really out of the way and it hopes that simmers will explore um, at Canada and the World Update 11 in all areas of the update. As well as there's nine missions have been included, three are bush trips, three are landing challenges and three are discovery flights. This is a massive world update and I'm looking forward to flying around this guys and checking out some of the undiscovered countries of the world when it comes to Canada. Well done, Microsoft team. 
Along with the update this week, the Microsoft team have released another local legend for the area. This one being a game developed by the team at Carinado, which is the Cessna 195 business liner. The Cessna 195 business liner was the last Cessna powered by radial engines and it was aimed at the business pilot in mind. Carinado have recreated a high level detailed model. As we know, Carinado make aircraft look great. With all um, marketplace local legend releases, system details uh, tend to be uh, not mentioned too much in the description but from the look of the trailer we should have be sorry we should be a lot of fun to fly the Cessna 195. The Cessna 195 is available directly from the InSim marketplace for both PC and Xbox simmers. No update on the development roadmap this week being close to the end of the year. We're not expecting to see too many additions made. Interesting note though, on the 29th of November, a green TBA has been included. This was updated on last week on the 22nd. Perhaps it's the last world update of the year or a little surprise from the Microsoft team. Either way, we have a development Q&A scheduled a couple of days after it. Let us know in the comments below what you think it might be releasing on that day. If not anything, I would love to hear your thoughts. This week on the InSim Marketplace update, we've seen 22 new products. 11 of these are on PC, and you guessed it, 11 of these are on Xbox. Most of the new additions are sceneries and airports. The highlights this week are also the Carinado Cessna 195 business liner, and also from Seafront Simulations, which is the vessel Hawaiian Island. Yes, it did release. We did talk about it in the announcements at the start of the video, but it actually released at the time of this recording. If you're like our friend at Fozzy who watches to the end of each video, you guys are a bunch of aviation legends. Drop a comment below with the keyword being Fozzy and let us know what you thought about this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that little red button and the notification bell. And that way we can let you know when our next video is live. Stick around for another flight simmer video and I will see you over there.